Uh, Father, we give you glory. Thank you for the good weather we're experiencing and thank you for rescuing us and delivering us and taking us through the month of July. Thank you for that uh, passage which says uh, you surround the righteous with songs of deliverance. Thank you for great deliverance in the month of July. Thank you as we go into August. Thank you that you'll help us to have our ear tuned to the ground, Lord, uh, able to discern uh, the plots of the enemy, but also far more importantly, able to discuss, able to discern and also to discuss the download from heaven on what your strategy is for August. So equip us, Lord, even as uh, David said, you train my hands to battle, my fingers to war. So train our hands to battle, our fingers to war in August. And Lord, let the victory be sweet in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. Well, it's just a, sh a short word for August. Um, before I show my word for August, just a couple of things I um, wanted to just highlight. Um, so on my, on my weekly Sabbath, my weekly time of rest and seeking the Lord, the Lord spoke to me and he, he gave me an invitation. So I, and he told me to, to have a special meeting where I'd share that invitation with the body of Christ. And that's going to be at uh, 3 p.m. Sunday, the August the 9th, 3 p.m. British summertime, August the 9th. So I want to encourage you to join me on that day. And then I also want to encourage you listen to the message that uh, the Lord the Lord spoke through me. Again, a, a visitation from the Lord. Uh, the Lord was stood in front of me. So I want my church back. So if you haven't listened to that message, um, listen to that message. Hallelujah. So, <clears throat> moving quickly on to August. You know, first first thing that uh, I was given to see, I saw a, a Charlie 130 coming into land. It's a it's a it's a it's a, a C-130. It's, it's a supply plane. Um, the military love the planes. The supply plane coming in, and it was coming in, and it was able to land. It was like one of these uh, jungle scenes where some land had been cleared. The land had been cleared out by the faithful ministry of watchmen and intercessors. We, we hear of their ministry um, in Isaiah chapter 40 and also in Luke chapter 3. It says, the voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Mm -hmm. So I just want to encourage uh, intercessors, faithful men and women of God who've been praying mm -hmm. because you're clearing in, in the, you're clearing in the jungle, your clearing is like a landing strip for these, uh, these C-130 uh, supply planes to land. Now, the, the, the supply planes that are landing are bringing provision and resource and glory from heaven. Hallelujah. And uh, they are the, 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 the goods that's in the, in the C-130s, they're, for, like I said, for the troops on the front lines, the weary, the struggling, the emotionally troubled, those who are at the, 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 the end of their tether, hey, relief is coming. Relief is coming. It's all right to look up to the skies. Uh, love Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the, the hills, to the mountains. From, well, from whence comes my help, as the King James puts it. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord. So look up, look up, look up, look up. Healing and help will come in the month of August. But um, back to this uh, divine supply. Uh, Psalm 24 says, Lift up your heads, O your gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, let the King of glory come in. And I, I believe there's going to be visitations of the glory of God in the month of August. Now, um, part of this, uh, this, these, these visitations, now as the visitations come, let me, let me put it this way, as the visitations come, it will require people who are sensitive to the Spirit to unpack them. Because going back to the scene of the, the, the plane landing, I saw the plane landing and I saw cargo being discharged. But it wasn't just the carrier boys that were carrying it. It was men who were skilled. And I saw that these were apostles and prophets, men of uh, integrity, men of sensitivity to the Spirit to know how to unpack uh, the healing, how to unpack the blessings that the Lord was bringing to us. Father, I give you praise and I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Now, I spoke about the intercessors who are used of God to, to clear the landing and to clear the runway. And there's also a John the Baptist anointing being released to make the crooked path straight. I love this passage in uh, Luke chapter 3, where it says, In the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, Herod, Tetrarch of Galilee, his brother Philip, Tetrarch of Ituri and Trachonitis, Lysanias, Tetrarch of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Carvus, the word of the Lord came to John. Who was John? 
in the midst of all these big names. And so I sense also that God is saying that in the reign of Queen Elizabeth of Great Britain, in the reign of uh, Boris Johnson of the United Kingdom, of Angela Merkel over Germany, and of Donald Trump in America, hey, even in the days of Justin Welby being the, the, the Archbishop of Canterbury, the word of the Lord came to you. The word of the Lord is coming to you. Say, who, who am I? <laughs> You're somebody that God has chosen to make the crooked path straight. What, what is making the crooked path straight? Making the crooked path straight means returning to apostolic structure and to apostolic order in churches and ministries, but also carrying the message out even to governmental circles. Say, why, why, why is this, why is this path crooked? God is going to use many who are listening to me today to bring straight, to bring a, a, a straightness to paths that are otherwise crooked so that the glory of God will come more and more. Second thing that I, I, saw, I saw was I saw oaks coming up. Oh, the Bible speaks of oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord. Now, what, what, how would these oaks came, come about? These oaks came about because uh, there's this Bible promise. says, hope deferred makes the heart sick. But when the desire comes, it's a tree of life. So you're watching me today, and you've been waiting and waiting and being faithful and being faithful. You say, Lord, when will my when will my hope materialize into substance, into something that happens? For many in the month of August, the, 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 the blessing of God will come, the answer of God will come, the provision of God will come, and as a result of it, your ministry, you'll be launched and birthed. Your ministry will be birthed and you'll be launched into your ministry. And there'll be many oaks. I saw many trees, many oaks that came as a result of this to the glory of God. Hallelujah. So once again, if you're a church leader, I want to encourage you in the month of August, gather people that are sensitive to the move of the Spirit around you so that they can pick what is happening when the glory of God is coming in in the form of uh, when, when the, the, the Hercules planes are coming in in the form of his glory being seen and being revealed. Have a great month. Now over to my son Prince. Now, Prince is wearing red. And uh, he, he, he didn't know, but I was just on a, on a call just a, a couple of hours back where we saw red coming. We saw people being armed with red, and the red speaks of the fire of God, the zeal of God, the equipping of the Holy Spirit. I release that to you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. So I just want to take this happy August or July. I just want to take this moment to glorify God in that a week ago, I broke a toe. And when it happened, I thought I'd broken all of my toes on that foot, but it was just the one. And um, and then I said, yeah, I'll be fine in a week. And it's a week, and I'm pretty much walking around normal, so praise God for that. But um, August, I saw August will be whatever you make it to be. So, you know, the scripture, do not be deceived. Um, God cannot be mocked. A man reaps whatever he sows. So I was seeing that August, literally, whatever you put in is what you're going to get out of this month of August. And I'm sure I've said this in previous words before, but I just felt strong, such a strong emphasis that um, God's made you, he's given you everything you could ever need, but it's up to you to use it and to put it for good use. Like God's not going to live your life for you. So I just saw that August... Um, Whatever you want it to be, it will be exactly whatever you make it to be. If you want it to be something, you have to put in the work to make it that. So, I was just seeing that, um, you know, August has the potential to be the greatest month you've ever had. And I saw that God's placed catalysts in the month of August. But you've got to do the work to qualify for those rocket boosters, if you like, to shoot you up higher. So, it's almost like the space shuttle going up and it reaches a point and you know the other rockets kick in and then it shoots out so i was just seeing that to qualify for the extra boosters to shoot you forward you've got to put in the work to reach that level and um so i just felt you know what do you want your august to be what do you want to achieve this month who do you want to become by the end of the month you know at the end of august you want to who do you want to be and so um I just felt, um, I just keep hearing that again, it's just a, such a strong emphasis. I know I need to hear it, but I'm sure others do too, that, um, you know, again, the pen won't write itself, you know, God's not going to live your life for you, so that, like, there's someone in particular, like, you're there, and you may be listening, 
and it's just to encourage you that you've got everything you'll ever need and more and God has you know placed that seed inside of you and it's up to you to use what's around you to make the most out of it and to become who you're supposed to become and um, so re the whole world is missing out when you're not doing what you're supposed to do and you're not trying to become who you're supposed to become so as well every day is a gift from God so you know our hearts uh, beat invol involuntarily you know we don't control our heartbeat so just another thing to remember that you're not in control of when your last day is you could argue yeah but ig ignore that but um, you're not in control of the time you have on earth but you've been given control of the time you have so just as well to be wise with your time the scripture help us to be careful in how we live um, so we'll make the most use out of our time I don't remember it exactly but Re redeeming the time for the days of our evil yes and um, so as well you know yeah glorify God by being the best you possible so as well one way you can do this because um, every day if you ask yourself who do I want to become by the end of this day so if you think you know what do I want to achieve this day you could you can kind of shrug that off but if you ask yourself who do I want to have become by the end of this day who do I want to be at midnight tonight how many lives do I want to have impacted it really changes your perspective and so if you just ask if you plan your days ahead and every day you just ask yourself who do I want to have become by the end of this day you know who do I want to be when I look in the mirror who do I want to be by midnight tonight and yeah that's that's it so glorify God be the best you possible and make this the best August you've ever had so far so have a great month God bless you amen God bless you see you next month bye